Hey guys, I'm just doing this video specifically on how to make, I guess, your fitness, how to make your fitness fun. A lot of you guys are asking me like, how do you get motivated to, to work out? How do you get motivated to you know, work out every day like you do or to do something every day? And the thing is, is, you know, it's work for everybody. It's work for everybody. There's days when even the most fit people that you see don't feel like doing something. Um, I'm finishing some egg whites. Um, but you have to find a way, A, I think there's two things. Number one, the big thing is you've got to get your mind focused on your goals and what's important to you. Because if you don't keep that in your head, to me, that's what I always remind myself of when I don't feel like working out, when I'm tired, when I don't, you know, when I feel like sneaking out and going to Jewel and getting some Krispy Kreme donuts. I remind myself of my goals. I remind myself positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement. Some of you might say, oh, you only want to do positive. I don't think so. I think it's just, I'm so sorry. I think it's just as motivating to remind yourself what you don't want in your life anymore um, versus what you do want. You know, what do you want to achieve? If you want to achieve, you know, abs, if you want to achieve, you know, a certain size, if you want to achieve, you know, muscle mass, if you want to achieve really good muscle conditioning. I hate to use the word toned. Um, but you know, there's good things to shoot for. Like, this is what I want to do. I mean, you, you guys know one of the things that <clears throat> I said when I started um, training really hard was I really want to build up my delts. You know, I, I want to build up my delts because um, I've had the, the good biceps, but I want to build up my delts because I tend to have, I tend to take after my mom. And I've got big boobs, <laughs> small shoulders. So, and plus I've always just like, delts are probably one of my favorite body parts, delts and hamstrings. Um, and, and really nice muscular legs. That just has always appealed to me. <clears throat> People that have that, men and women, I just am like, that's what I want. So that's what appeals to me, but at the same time, what, what appeals to me is not, excuse me, not put, you know, the things that bother me just as much. So that's negative reinforcement. To think about like, God, you know, what I'm so sick of in the past, this is the past couple of years, you know, when perimenopause hit me, it was like a bitch because there were things I didn't notice until much further along in the game when I probably gained much more weight than I realized. Um, and that's a whole other topic of, you know, how do you stay on top of things so that you don't let too much time go by and then go, oh my God, I'm trying to buckle my jeans or my shorts from last summer. And they're like, you should notice that one month in. And, and that's something that I will never do again is let, you know, certain amount of time period go where you're in a just a valley of nothingness but yeah I part of what will motivate me is I think about okay I don't feel like working out right now but you know what I'm damn glad that when I put my bra on I don't have that I don't look in the mirror at the rear and go oh, look at that horrible back fat back fat on men and women it's a horrible thing it's a horrible thing and it sneaks up on you so yeah, I think about things like that. I think about things like, um, you know, putting on my favorite pair of jeans and not having to say, oh, I don't want to wear these today because if I really, and yes, I do this. I put pair, my pair of jeans on and go like that to see if there's going to be any muffin top. I don't want any muffin top. I want to be able to wear my favorite, you know, pair of jeans. I want to be able to wear my favorite pair of shorts and not be worried about sucking it in because I'm carrying extra weight that I shouldn't be. So I don't know about you, but I think that positive motivation and negative motivation is equal. I mean, I'm, I'm drawing on when I'm trying to motivate myself and I don't feel like working out or I don't feel like having egg whites for breakfast or I don't feel like doing this <laughs> really fun experiment Michael's doing with me this week. Um, those are the things I think about. And I also think about the fact that I'm damn proud of the discipline that I have put in for two months. I never really used that word until it was Michael that said something because a friend of mine said, you know, I wanna, I wanna you know, talk to your trainer about designing something for me or designing a program for me or whatever. So I was telling Michael that and he said, you know, 
well, that's fine, but not really many people have the discipline to do it. And I was like, are you saying I have discipline? And he's like, yes, honestly, I didn't think you'd last past two and a half weeks. And he was being serious. He's kind of can be a douchebag that way sometimes, but um, it works. <laughs> so, um, sorry, the birds are acting weird. All I'm saying is it takes discipline, it takes focus, and for me, there's always a time when I'm going through the mental battle in my head. It's the mental battle. Once I start working out, I'm enjoying it. I, I mean, honestly, and that's part of, I'm kind of segueing into, this might be an under 10 minute vlog. I'm segueing into the, the part that I wanted to get to, which is how you make your, your fitness fun. That sounds like a bad infomercial, but it really is true. And for me, um, you know, I think what too many people do is they'll start a program, whether it's hiring a trainer, or whatever, but they just, you know, they're they're looking at cardio as treadmill, and then they start to have an attitude of like, oh, I've got to go get on the treadmill, and you know, they're they're dreading it before they start. They have a bad attitude before they start. You know, for me, I really enjoy the fact that um, I'm allowed to with the program that we're doing. I, you know, I do cardio every day, some cardio every day, and you guys know I enjoy cardio. There's a lot of people that don't. They, you know, again, but I think that those people don't enjoy cardio because they haven't found something fun. There's a lot of really fun ways to get a sweat on, and sometimes I don't want to say, you won't even know you're working out. That's not the point. I think you should know that you're getting active and working out. But, you know, I don't do this, but I know people that have gone crazy and just changed their lives because they love Zumba. Um, sorry. Um, Zumba, there's yoga. Um, you, you might not think of yoga as cardio, but you know there's certain types of yoga that are really intense. Um, in fact, incidentally, I wore my heart rate monitor to hot yoga yesterday, um, and because I was just curious, I certainly know what hot yoga does for me, and, and the mental, um, and, and what it does for <laughs> just um, flexibility, and, and my mind, and my soul, and my body is indisputable. So, but I was just curious from. Um, a calorie burn perspective, I was just curious what a 90 minute hot yoga class burned, 350 calories. So I'm going to reference again all of those crazy claims that a lot of classes or DVD series will say, I, I'm sorry, I just saw this on, I think it was one of the Beachbody DVDs where they're talking about insanity and they're like, workout like this can burn up to a thousand calories in an hour. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I have never in my life burned a thousand calories in an hour. So I don't know who the people are that supposedly burn a thousand calories in an hour. I did hot yoga, which is now, I wouldn't necessarily expect that to be intense because you're not jumping up and down so your heart rate's not getting high, but it is an intense workout. 350 calories in 90 minutes. Well, hour and 15. Um, most of these workouts, like what was my calorie burn today? I did an hour and it was 400 calories. The more intense workouts, if I do Insanity, about 40 minutes, I think I burn 500 calories. So I can see 500, 600, 700 maybe. It's pushing it to say 1,000. And the reason that that gets me frustrated is I think people that are just starting off on wanting to lose weight will buy something like that. They'll buy something like Insanity because they're like, that burns 1,000 calories an hour. All I have to do is do one Insanity workout and I burned 1,000 calories. And then they deduct that from what they're eating and then they're <laughs> either A, they're gonna give up because it's way too intense or B, they're gonna give up they're going to give up because um, they're not losing weight, but they're o way overestimating their caloric burn. But all that said, I do enjoy um, Insanity workouts, and I really enjoy having a nice selection of workouts that I personally enjoy. You guys that have been watching my videos for a long time, God bless you. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Um, I have loved kickboxing forever, and I have loved it for a long time when it hasn't been, you know, as in vogue as it's becoming again. It's becoming kind of like cool again because I don't want to say it wasn't cool, but it wasn't as mainstream for a while. You didn't hear a lot of people talking about going to kickboxing or Taibo. Taibo started really big and then it kind of veered off and now you just haven't tended to hear and I haven't been able to buy a lot of kickboxing DVDs. Now you've got Les Mills Combat. Turbo Fire is primarily, you know, like a, a fun kind of mix of, of um, uh, kickboxing and stuff. Kathy has always had 
a lot of kickboxing in her um, DVDs. I don't want to say a lot, but like more boxing, kickboxing mix. Um, so I, you know, have a nice selection of home DVDs plus workouts that I can do at the gym that are fun that allow me to mix it up. And I think that's important. You've got to find something you like. Don't try one thing and say, oh, I didn't like that. And, and I don't know about you guys. I, I don't know if you agree. My recommendation is don't look at, if you're just starting and you want to lose weight and you, you know, cardio is part of what you know you should be doing. Don't go and get on a bike at the gym. Don't go and get on a treadmill because I think if you start with that, you'll be bored. Unless you've got somebody that can show you how to do a really fun interval workout um, with, you know, inclines on the, on the, um, on the treadmill or, you know, look up Steve Feaster's videos on YouTube for treadmill fun. Um, I think some of those, they're great. Or, or a spinning class, I think, could be fun. I still have yet to do a spinning class. But I just kind of feel like something, and I'm not trying to sell you on this. You can get it from me, sure. But I just, I've been a home DVD person for a while. I've loved Tybo. I've loved Kathy workouts. I'm totally addicted to these two now. Plus, Kathy's new X-Train, which has Tabata, Hit, Low Impact. I, I have a nice selection. So honestly, like, I get up every morning, and I'm doing cardio in the morning and in the evening. And I look at my... my goodie box, right? And if I'm not at the gym, so if I go to the gym, the days that I go to the gym to do weight training, I do my cardio at the gym after weight training. Um, but the days that I'm at home that I'm not at the gym, I do my cardio at home. And I open up my little box and it's kind of like a kid on Christmas because I'm like, what do I want to do today? Oh, I think I'm going to do this. And it's fun because I'm mixing it up. In fact, right now I have my laptop out here because I'm going to preview. I've been kind of working my way through. Honestly, on TurboFire, do you see all these DVDs? I've only gotten up to, um, I've done these two, this one. I didn't care for the low hit class as much. Um, trying to think of why. I don't remember. Um, but anyway, and then I've also done this first uh, Fire 30. I have like probably 15 more workouts that I haven't even done yet. So I always like to preview the next one before I do it. Um, so. Get yourself some fun, something that's fun that appeals to you. Whether it's more dancey like Zumba, whether it's like Turbo Fire or Insanity or whatever. Insanity, really tough people. If you're just starting, wouldn't recommend that. Um, there's all kinds of home DVDs out. Check out, go to um, Collage Video, C O L L A G E, collagevideo.com, and then you can preview all kinds of videos there to see, you know, what what you kind of like. Find something that's fun because that's what's going to make you stick with it. Yes, you're always going to have to motivate yourself here, but if you find stuff that you really that's fun, it's going to keep you active. If you if you hate it and you're like, oh, I have to go to the treadmill, I have to go to the gym, you know, and then you're going to be bored and you, you're setting yourself up for disaster. I would say for me, you know, the number one thing that's helping me change and 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 get the results that I haven't had in years. Number one is just my mental state of mind, but number two, the fact that I enjoy what I'm doing and I have a lot of variety and I've picked stuff that's fun for me and I've picked um, a, an overall program or I've said yes to an overall program that allows me to do stuff that's fun for me. If it wasn't fun, if I had to only do the treadmill, I'd be bored. I, I would be bored and I like to run. I like the treadmill. Um, find something that you really like. It's going to help this journey become a lot more fun and a lot less like, you know, a chore, if you know what I mean.